Okay, I think we're live. <laughs> I never know when we're live, but we are live. We are a couple minutes late and had to work out some technical difficulties as you do whenever you do a live stream. But hello, everybody, and welcome to a live stream. We have Max in here. Hello. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Max. It's good to see everybody. So what this live stream is going to be, and if you're watching this on the replay, then hopefully this is going to be just as entertaining. We're going to be going through uh, some of the mail that I've gotten in the P.O. box that I opened up about a month or so ago, which we've already been getting a few things from people from a lot of different places, which if you have sent anything at all in the mail, or if you ever do, thank you so much. You do not have to do that, but it is incredibly cool just to have this, this interactability due to the P.O. box. We have a lot of animals that are going to be coming in here, running around probably as yeah. we go through the mail, some of the mail that we've gotten. So There's one at our feet right now. Yeah, he's... Oh, Looking he's, around he's for some for bubble wrap. Snacks. Yep. <laughs> so we have a few that we want to get through. So we have a lot of people there hopping into the live stream already. So hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's good to see all of you. Wow. Okay, so I wanted name? to do this at 2.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time so we could try to get the majority of people from the most the amount of places. <laughs> that was hopefully suitable because one of the big things that we're going to be opening is actually get it right down here on the ground. I'm gonna try not to show their address, but we got a box full of snacks from the UK. Yeah. I have never seen most of these or probably all of these. So we're gonna be getting to this in a little bit, probably towards the end of, of our little live stream today. We have a cheat sheet here with all of the different snacks Thank that you they for that, put in the this way. box. I don't know if you're we'll in get this. To this. I don't know if you're in the chat yet, but I appreciated the cheat sheet. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's just say hey to everybody who's in the chat currently. I know this was a little bit last minute, a little bit random, but that's that's just generally how the live streams end up. So hi everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Okay. So um, I guess we could kind of try to start with the binder. So the binder. Oh. this is Brennan's project that she's been working on. Yeah. So Ooh. not a lot of what we've gotten in the PO box has been like like from a big box. It's mm -hmm. been what I really wanted, which was like postcards or just little yeah. messages or or oh, I just, letters. I like collecting like all the like nice, cute, fun stuff that people send, trying not to get people's addresses in here. But then mm -hmm. you just get like cute stuff, like kids and like the kids' drawings. And then like, I don't know, this is just so cute. So this I, is a work in progress. So this is what I've got going on so far. I just bought like the, the sleeves and then I bought postcard sleeves as well. So feel free to send postcards as well. Cause I'm just kind of keeping them in here. So I don't know this, I'm calling this like my happy binder. It's just really cute and it makes me smile. And also my mom looked at it the other day and she like, it made her smile a lot too. <laughs> Which speaking of your mom, your mom actually got something in the mail as well. Yeah. Yeah, the um, Pepsi bottle caps, like the old ones with the cork in them. Right. So John, Lisa, and Megan, they sent, I think they sent this little gift card right here, which mm -hmm. was actually really nice. I very much so appreciate that. And then they sent Brennan's mom some Pepsi bottle caps, some vintage Pepsi bottle caps from like 1950 or earlier that were just incredibly cool. Your mom was absolutely over the moon She was so about it. tickled that somebody like just like such a small excerpt from the videos that you've done. Like you guys thought of my mom and she was like speechless. She thought it was just like the nicest, most thoughtful right. thing. <laughs> Let's see. And this was the first one that we got, right? I think. Yeah. Yes. You showed so those in a video. I did. Yeah. So some of these I, I, I've showed in videos and I don't really know how to do the live stream stuff quite yet. I don't want to make like a designated um, or the P.O. Box stuff. I don't want to make like a designated live stream video for every single thing that we get in the P.O. Box. I don't want that to be just like a monopolizing self-indulgent yeah. thing, but it is really, really fun. So this was from Alicia, right? And it, she sent over a lot of little Pokemon stuff, which I appreciate. I know that you probably know by now that I'm, 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 on, I'm on a bit of a Pokemon binge as far as a hobby. You can see a lot of the stuff that I've just randomly collected throughout the past year or so back over there. So... Yeah, she sent some pins here. She sent a little Pikachu Pokemon card, sent some buttons, and then some some just like keychains here with all of the various little Pokemon on there and some Pokeball fun little knickknacks. 
So that was really cool. That was like our first official. Um, Can you show these off? I don't think so. So these are like spinners with like like Pikachu and like Bulbasaur. <laughs> these were so cool. Cute. So that was our first official like piece of mail that we got in the PO box, which mm -hmm. was really really cool, and it was really exciting. And let's see what else. I'm trying to like go through like what we have here as we got them in the mail. I really like this one from uh, the Zittos, I think is their is their name, their last name, where they have from from their kids basically right here. And this one I think is my favorite. It's a uh, I like Spider Man. Do you like Spider Man? And then I got a, <laughs> what is a Spider Man car? It looks like right here. And then I got some drawings here, just stuff like that. It's just <laughs> I know the car so is so incredibly cool. Make the binder super bulky, especially when we add more stuff in it. But I could not separate the car from the letters. Right? Too cute. <laughs> so I got we or we got uh, some postcards from Mary Beth and from Michael Hawk, which was really cool. Oh, Alicia is in here. Yes, awesome. All right, let's catch up on some of the the, the live stream chats. Here. Still really not good about this. This is what my like our like fourth or I think our like fourth or fifth live stream. I always think it's so cute because Roy gets his like nervous energy before the live streams where he was just like <laughs> <laughs> she has to like pet me down because I get so like manic about being like organized because I just I don't want to be that 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 dead air live stream where I'm just like <laughs> let's see here. Um I need my spectacles so I could uh so yeah, so a lot of this is going to be disorganized and a little bit all over the place, but we will, mm -hmm. we'll get there, maybe. I hope. Just trying to actually use this room that I've been calling the film room that we need to film in to justify being the film room. Okay, so Albin Schindler, it looks like we got a bit of a super chat here. So hi, I love your channel. You guys are great. Love watching. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the super chat. Nobody ever has to super chat. Just wanted to put that out there, but it is very much so appreciated. And I never know how to react whenever we get them. George says, hello to my favorite couple, Roy and Vernon. Oh, thanks. Look at that. Favorite couple. I like her too. <laughs> okay. So let's just, let's get through like a couple questions. How about that? Does that, does that work? Okay. So hi guys. Could you help me settle a debate? We watch all of your videos and are convinced you could be a character. Are we correct? This is meant to be a secret and please ignore this. No, unfortunately, <laughs> that would be a lot of fun, honestly. But like, what kind of character? Like a Disney character, oh, okay. or like a Universal character. So, nope. No, but I would love more than anything for Roy to be the night bus driver, like the one that stands out and that takes would be pictures fun. and wears like the purple outfit. I'm just like, oh, I would love to just walk past Roy just as that all the time. He'd be so cute. <laughs> That'd be cool. I've always wanted to just work at Forbidden Journey at Universal. Um, just to, to just wear the wardrobe and to wear the costume and just to have my like Gryffindor like get up in my wand and just like <laughs> I, I don't know that would be that that would just be pinnacle um, employment in in my opinion. But I've heard that it's kind of hard to work there because there's a lot going on. So it might be better just to just to enjoy it rather than work there. Um, hello from the UK. It was supposed to be over there right now after our Disney trip was postponed last year but canceled again. You guys keep going. Uh, you guys keep us going. Whoops, it jumped down to the bottom. Um, yeah, I know I know that that's... That we keep you going. Not that well, you yeah. couldn't come. I, I know that there's a lot going on where people are, are, are kind of vicariously enjoying the, the parks through uh, myself, other vloggers, and, and mm -hmm. I appreciate that a lot. I'm, I'm, I know that we would be doing it regardless if, if people could or couldn't be over here, but it's really it's really appreciative, appreciated that you um, enjoy what we enjoy too, and, and I really hope that you can get back here because that's what it's all about, right? You can only watch the Haunted Mansion through a YouTube video so many times. You got to be there and actually enjoy it. So I really hope that people can make it back over here soon. Somebody was in the middle of watching the video that you just uploaded when you went live. Yeah. So I, I try to be as, as, um, what do you call it? Like just, just, just chronological as possible when it comes to like the content on, on my channel. I don't want to like the live stream and then upload a video from yesterday and then the next day upload a video from last week. Like I want it to be as, as chronological as possible. And so I wanted to get that Magic Kingdom video out as quickly as possible. Um, when are we visiting Atlanta again? I don't know. That was, that was a very last minute trip um, up to visit Dennis. I think Dennis is, 
looking into getting a house up there. So I think once he gets settled in, because mm -hmm. like his lease is about to end up or like end, he's going to start moving. So there's going to be a lot of time where it like wouldn't make sense to go and visit. You need to get up there too. Well, that's what I was about to say. I think it would make a lot of sense if like when I went to go visit, it's like after he's settled into right. whatever house he ends up getting. Because I got to go back to, to Six Flags. Dennis ended up buying a season pass to, to Six Flags because it was cheaper than just buying a one day ticket plus parking or it was as expensive, something like that, which which justified getting the season pass. So we got to go again. Um, let me see. Are we ever planning on doing a cruise? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we're actually going to be going on a cruise pending that it in, inevitably that happens, in but February. it's going to be with your family mm -hmm. in February. What if, which it's one the is it? Mardi Gras for really carnival carnival. Okay. It's the one that's been like all over social media. I'm nervous. I I'm, I'm, I, I don't not like the idea of a cruise. He's never been on one. So it's like the, the fear of the unknown and what to expect and someone who like, Cause you, well, you're susceptible to like seasickness. So you're just kind of like, I don't sure. know what to expect. I love cruising. I've been on, <laughs> I've been on money. <laughs> it's, it's odd. Like I do get motion sick, but it is so random that it happens. And then, and then seasickness potentially, but then I'll go on this tiny little, little boat. Like I went on in Pensacola for like four hours and I'm totally fine the entire time. So I don't know. We'll see. Just the idea of just being on a boat for like an entire day, not being able to like go anywhere. You yeah. Know? I, we'll it's, see. We'll it's see. better than you would expect. That's what I'm like trying to right. work on right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm, I'm game for it. Just, you know, if a cruise is just like drinking and food, which I'm okay with both of them, but that's, if that's just what it is, then I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but I'm sure that it's a lot more than that. Definitely want to go on a Disney cruise at some point. It is a 10 day cruise though, which I'm just like, for me, my <sighs> ideal cruise is like five days. I was hoping to like work up to it, but yeah, I'm even just like, Oh my God, family, 10 days. <laughs> this is so much, but I'm excited. Her family's going on a cruise and they were like, do you want to go? And I was like, do I say no to a cruise? Like they didn't say, nope. do you want to go? They're like, Roy, you're coming. Whether you like it or not, we love you and you're coming with us. <laughs> well, <laughs> so hopefully we uh, we work that out. Uh, exploring Tampa, we need some video showing off the non-touristy parts of Orlando. I'd love to. I agree. There are places that I'm surprised that I haven't like gone to in terms of just, just like a video perspective, like just going to downtown Orlando. I have gone to plenty of non-touristy parts of Orlando, but usually... Those are the places that I, I want to have a more like private and personal experience. You know, like yeah. I'm not a daily vlogger. I don't want to record every aspect of my life. The ones that I do upload and end video are, are ones that I, I want to remember in the sense that I think that they're worthwhile to share, if that makes sense. So yeah. if I go hang out with Dennis in downtown Orlando and we go to the farmer's market there, that's just kind of a, a moment that I want to have with Dennis. You know, that was back when he lived in Orlando. I feel like it's like that with a lot of places that we go because we, we're not like always at the theme parks. So I think it's just whenever we do want to go have like lunch somewhere, mm -hmm. I think it's just like, a, oh, this is just like an us time thing. And so we forget that like this could also be like I've been trying to take you to um, downtown Winter Garden because like I've I grew up in downtown Winter Garden. So, right. you know, I was just like right over there in like Claremont area as a kid. And so back before Claremont was the Claremont that everyone knows now, like Winter Garden was where all the food and the groceries and all of that stuff was. So I loved like Plant Street and everything. And to see, you know, like the Crooked Can Brewery and like how that just exploded downtown Winter Garden. Like I want to go back there all the time now. And I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> um, but yeah, I, I obviously want to do things that are not necessarily theme park centric. I don't want the theme parks to get, to have to have burnout with that, you know, mm -hmm. which not that it's possible. It's been the most probable to happen in the past year when there was a, there really wasn't a lot going on that was new at the parks. They, they took away a lot of elements of the parks as far as entertainment and then spectaculars and shows and, 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 and rides, but so far so good in terms of the theme parks and not having burnout, but definitely want to do a lot more soon. Let's see. Uh, if you see anything, jump on in. Max wants to know what I'm drinking. What do you think I'm drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
It's the water from Shrek's swamp. <laughs> and I'm enjoying a Coca-Cola. This is now I can always ask, what are you doing in my swamp? It's just green tea. I, it's just water with a green tea bag in it. Danny Boscarelli sent over a super chat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Danny, no, no, no sweet. text with that, but it is much appreciated. Did you ever get something to eat after your number generated universe video? I did. I had Burger to King. go pick it up. It was Burger King on the way home because <laughs> I had a coupon and not proud of it, <laughs> but I was just hungry. I didn't eat breakfast that morning because I was so sure. I was like, I'm going to go to Universal at nine o'clock in the morning and it's going to be like, you know, go to Fast Food Boulevard. And I was going to be like, oh my God. So I didn't <laughs> eat a single longer. thing. <laughs> and then I didn't get anywhere to eat. I had rode a lot of rides though, so that was fun. Okay. Sorry, I'm like jumping around the 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 super not the super chats, the uh the, just the, like the live stream comments. Not to sound like hungry or anything, but I just, <laughs> just wanted to make sure we had time for all this stuff. Oh, we'll have time. <laughs> there's some it's over here. It's a big box. <laughs> okay. I just I wanted to I, cause I feel like every time we we talk, we miss so much of of the chat in here yeah. and people that ask questions, people that just have something to say. I'm not the best at just answering comments in general, so I do want to make it seem like there's- They're also really tiny, so like I'm just a, like- A back and forth here. What are they here. saying? <laughs> you. <laughs> in oh my goodness. I zoomed in, sorry. <laughs> Roy, I've been following you for years since you did the Attractions Magazine channel. You're the highlight of my day. Love you guys, keep up the great work. Yay. I made videos for Attractions Magazine back in the day, and it was fun. And the videos that I did for Attractions Magazine are some of my favorite videos because I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to vlog, you know, I just didn't want to be just a, an average vlogger that just went around and just showed off construction or whatever new food was at a theme park, which I do do, do a lot of now, but now it's like a <laughs> bit of a mix of like fun challenges and, and then also just kind of exploring and walking around and seeing what's new, trying to do something new every now and then. But the, the challenges that I did for Attractions Magazine they're, they were a lot of fun, and I'm probably going to duplicate those on my channel at some point here, potentially in the future. Is YouTube the only job you have, or do you work somewhere? I wouldn't consider YouTube a job. There are, are advertisements on, on YouTube, so I do like get generated a little amount of revenue from that, but, but by no means anything that's like viably substantial for life. So I do have a regular job, and then I also have a different video editing job for my brother's company. He's a student loan planner consultant, so I do his uh, his YouTube videos for him. So I technically have three jobs. So not a lot of free time with that, but but I have a good time and I try to maximize the time where I have. So that's, that's my life, pretty much. Okay. Let's see, any more? We can probably talk and answer a few more questions here. Hey guys, Roy, I met you a few days ago at Peter Pan. How often do you guys get recognized now that you have 20K plus subscribers? I feel like it comes in waves. It, it does happen a good amount, which yeah. catches me off guard a lot because I, I <laughs> to, to me, I'm just a guy that just like videoing my day, doing mundane things around Disney World and just like pointing out what's new or just eating something and then I just upload that. And a lot of times it's what I end up doing that I put on the internet for you to watch. And, and yeah. then, so when people do come up and they're like, I watch your videos, it's it's surprising. I'm like, do you really? Who, what, who are you? What, <laughs> me? Me? Like, um, and I, I always never know how I react in those moments. And I, I, I always want to seem like I seem sincere that I'm thankful that people watch the videos. Sometimes but... you get caught off guard and then you have that like burst of energy where you're like, oh, hello. And you're just <laughs> like, wait, calm down. You're not, you're not that weird. Just like, just say hello like a normal person. There have been times where I've like been, been <laughs> like, like recording something and then somebody will come say hi and then I'll, and then I'll kind of try to get what I was trying to record. But then when I like want to give the full attention to the person that wanted to say hi, they've already left or walked away or they've gotten distracted and then I get nervous and then I'm like, oh my God, they think that I ignored them and that I'm mean and I'm, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I want to try to be a nice person. We just social anxieties just like everyone else. <laughs> so yeah, get recognized here and there, which is, it's mm -hmm. really cool and surprises me every time and I appreciate it quite a lot. Maybe like once every like couple trips somewhere. 
Right. I so one of the things that we do is every time we finish interactions with people, we're just like, how were we? Did, did we seem normal? Did I did I introduce myself? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> and we just we have like a, a little like or we forgot to ask for people's names and then it's like have like a little oh, council no. meeting after we're like, were we presentable people? <laughs> Let's see. Christian Lees says, Thank you for saving my family during lockdown. We've been fans ever since. Thank you, Christian, for that, for that super chat. I very much so appreciate it. You are welcome. Um, videos during quarantine, during lockdown, mm -hmm. however, however long you want to, you know, because quarantine for some people was two weeks and for others it was yeah. a year. Um, I like when people say that because I know like we were purposely trying to make videos that like we were keeping ourselves busy. Yeah, it was one to entertain ourselves and then two just to like create some sort of like normalcy where it's like, yeah, we're all in this together, but like we're not depressed or this is miserable it's just like you know what like we're gonna remind people it really helps that like life day -to -day. goes on you can like still make things normal like we're still just like happy creative people that are like hanging out yeah and then when the parks eventually reopened it was less about like getting that reopening coverage content it was more just about finally being able to go back somewhere that, that made you comfortable and then trying to find new ways to appreciate it when a lot of that magic had had dissipated a little bit for the time being, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Um, let's see. A lot of people appreciate the uh, the challenge videos and and I appreciate that. Those videos are, are a lot of fun to do. They're really fun for me to just rewatch. And what I don't like about them is if I try to do a challenge and then I don't succeed and then I can actively go back and I can see the moments or the decision that enabled me to not succeed. Like if I wanted to do a certain ride at a certain time and then it got shut down for the weather and I could have allocated that time to a different ride or a different show where I could have salvaged that time and then use that on the back end of the challenge to actually succeed. Or if I got to the park like 30 minutes after it opened and I didn't think that that would impact anything. And then I ended up having like one or two attractions at the very end of the day that I needed to do and I could have just gotten there exactly at opening instead of just that minute amount of time afterwards. So those are the hard parts of the videos or if I decide to eat food during the challenge and I could have used that time where I was eating to, to do a ride or, or to, to see a show or something like that. But they are fun to do. It's just very hard on the, uh, on the other end of it you when I could off. have succeeded, but I did it. You didn't show off the bears. Roy, did you really eat all the food that you showed us and all the happy meals? Yes. I always eat all the food and Wait, not in one day. The happy meal? Well, we videos? Which one? I don't know. Like we didn't eat it all. Like sometimes we had like McDonald's leftovers. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a that was a bleak time just getting a bunch of McDonald's. But it was worth it. And I have them all back there somewhere on the on the shelf. And then you're supposed to lean to the side oh. so I can show them. There they go. Where am I? Right here. Happy Meal Toys. Okay. So this is something else that we got in the mail, which is hilarious in my opinion. Um, I, I wish I like wrote down the name of the person. It's in the binder. Like everything correlates with the person that, that sent it. And they usually send something in the mail along with like a, like a letter or a postcard or something. So in one of the Magic Kingdom Challenge videos, one of the things that I needed to do was to try to find merchandise for the country bears, right? And Magic Kingdom did not have any merchandise for the country bears, which is terrible. And I hope that is rectified at some point. But shortly after that, in the PO box, I have every country single, bears. I think it's a ha Happy Meal toy for the country bear jamboree movie that came out. You can kind of see them. I don't know if all of these were from <laughs> the actual attraction, I know that they took some liberties doing the the, the live version of the Country Bears, mm -hmm. which I've not seen in a very long time, but I'm sure that it stands at the time without a doubt. So now <laughs> all these Happy Meal Country Bears, I don't know where to put them. I, I have plenty of, of room back here. I'm going to have to move probably some stuff around. Yeah. So you didn't really anticipate that. Didn't, didn't think about actually getting a lot of that kind of stuff in the mail that I'm going to have to try to find a place for. But that was the point of having all of these these cubbies back here on the wall. Yeah. But a lot of it is stuff that I already had that I <laughs> need to try to organize in a different spot. I mean, probably. we can take some irrelevant stuff out, like that poop hat. 
<laughs> yeah, we can't, we can't see it. There's a there's a little like turd hat back here from like <laughs> Dave and Buster's. So I forget who sent that, and I needed to write the name down, but I did not. But if you're watching this, you know that you sent me the Country Bears, and I flipped out when I opened that up. That was so cool, and it was hilarious because I was I was so sad that I couldn't find any Country Bear Jamboree merchandise, and now I have like eight Country Bears that I have to do something with. Hmm. How do I feel about not being able to buy Zoom Zooms anymore? That's really sad. I actually did not know or think about. I have all enough. of these Zoom Zooms right over here that <laughs> most of these were actually given to me. Um, somebody like else didn't want their, it was like a coworker like six years ago. They didn't want their Zoom Zooms and they're like, do you want them? And I was like, uh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like, I don't know. I put them in my this car and cold. then I've gotten like self-conscious about how many Zoom Zooms I have. <laughs> it's like two shelves worth of them. <laughs> I don't even know at this point, and and that, that just goes with the majority of like a lot of the stuff that, that I that I've collected. I've I've got a lot of stuff from like the Cast Connection discount store like years ago, and and I would get them for just a monumental like seventy five percent off discount where it was just pointless to not get it if that makes sense. And I so I have a lot of just knickknacks and stuff. Is all around to pick out his favorite toy. He already, already did. He's already gone. He took Eeyore with him, and then I, Zazu's on the ground. Eeyore is his favorite toy, and then he always comes back for Zazu. Zazu's right here. Eeyore's just chilling in the doorway. <laughs> um, let's see. I love the scavenger hunts you guys did for each other. Maybe another one? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of like scavenger hunts. I have a lot of like. He always has stuff down the pipeline. I really it's do, like and, it, and it's and it's a matter of like actually getting to do it. I don't want to be the person that's like I have a lot of ideas that are going to come to fruition maybe at some point. Like no, I actually actively want to follow through on all of these. It's just a matter of coordinating with your schedule. We have separate days off, so yeah. if we ever have a day off or an afternoon off together, it's 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 rare. Sometimes I go in early and she goes in late, so we have a slight little overlap. With that, or I'm able to give away a shift or trade off or, or those yeah. sort of things. Um, we still absolutely need to do the photo scavenger hunting universal again super soon. I have those pictures printed off. That's actually one of my favorite videos that I've done that I've wanted to do again, where I went around Universal and I just took pictures of things and then I gave you these. You like, just follow me around, watch how my brain works. <laughs> pictures, yeah, and then you're able to like walk around and try to like, you know, just just see where they are and that's just that's just really fun on, on my end of it um let's see my favorite was the time rover i liked that too i like tiny little little spins i'm not trying to like really hype myself up being, for being like super creative but like anything that's like a video and then i didn't actually address it until like months later so that was a lot of fun to do like i sent myself a message back from the past, something like that. Exactly. I like time travel -y stuff. I like stuff that's that's very indicative that I took some time in planning in advance. Like the wishes video. Yes, like like that one where I did like some time traveling back where I talked to myself when I had a full beard from quarantine and, and <laughs> that stuff is just, is just pretty cool. Okay, uh, so we have a few more stuff to show off. There's a few more like little knickknacks over here that I haven't gotten to. Again, I totally forget who sent these, but this is from the um I believe this was the Zito thing. Yeah, I think so. Which sent me these beautiful earrings. I like, didn't know they sent them to you. Your ears aren't pierced. They weren't? Now they are. No, they're not pierced. <laughs> but they're like some rose gold like mini headband ears, and they're like <laughs> Beautiful, I really like that. And then this little mermaid make a splash keychain. That one's for you. Thank you. Um, and then if you like little pin collections, we're not pin people, but this is like a surefire way to get us into be. becoming pin people. Never done pin trading. I thought about it. It seems like a lot of fun. I thought then, this Pluto one was really cute. It came after the Pluto drawing stuff. Yes, yes. And I don't know, pin stuff is fun. I'm already invested in this kind of a kind of a hobby. So if I start Getting into pins, that is that is just gonna brick the bank accounts. Some of these guys. And yeah, got some like Pokemon cards, which are not in focus. Is he oh, in focus? There. there it goes. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> 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 just 
It's going to be the new thumbnail. <laughs> it's not working. Focus on you perfectly. <laughs> I don't know. So like little just care packages like this that are just, whoops, that are just letting us know that <laughs> we're being thought of. It's just so cool. And then one one last little little fellow that they got in the mail. Oh my god. Apparently the, the pins brought everyone to the yard. I mean, yeah. it's here now. All the animals are in here. <laughs> this is from Jabber. And this is a Mickey and Minnie Steamboat Willie Lego set, which we have not gotten into yet. And I we're like absolutely going to do it. I don't think we'll do it for a video. This will probably just be uh, for fun. That yeah. will inevitably display up here somewhere. I'm like trying to figure out. I was just like, I want to do it now, but I'm like, oh, but no, hurricane season's coming up. Like, this could be a good hurricane thing. <laughs> oh, like, <man. laughs> trying to figure out the time. So we'll do that. So now we're at 30 minutes, which means we can finally get into the, I guess, the finale of the mail. <laughs> the finale. The mail vlog aspect. So this comes from across the pond. Yes. In the United Kingdom, this is from the the, the Timmis family, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not so this included. Is from Carl and Becca Timmis. Yeah. With no Kinder Surprise, I'm sorry, because America, we don't allow the Kinder Surprise eggs anymore. Apparently not. So let's get to this. So this is our cheat sheet. They mm -hmm. sent this in the mail. They told me they were sending this like two months ago, and it just finally got here. Mm -hmm. So gotta love those. International customs, right? We have a lot to go through. Okay. So I'm like looking at this. I'm like, are we trying everything, knowing that we have to commit to finishing it because we've opened it? I don't know. I mean, there's not, not there's not like an incredible amount of here. It's just okay. like it's a good amount of like snacks. There's some duplicates. It looks like for the oh, that's this. true. These are like some big stuff. Okay, so this is a British-ish snack selection for you. Hi, Roy and Brennan. Forgot my own name. <laughs> Firstly, we'd like to congratulate you on reaching 20,000 subscribers. It's fully deserved. Looking forward to seeing you reach that 100,000 subscriber plaque. That oh. will be overwhelming if if I'm that scared. even potentially Can happens. Stop like messing me, like messing with the snacks. <laughs> you're, you're just like. <laughs> Are you trying to read something right now? She's like tapping my leg under the table, like letting me know, like, let's, 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 can we just, can we, we gotta get to the snacks. Let's get not, to the snacks. Please. Not for the snacks. Just like, come on, come on, let's, I'm let's, trying, let's, let's get to the snacks. I'm trying to budget time. Stop talking about your challenge videos. I'm and the get behind to the, the scenes snacks. wavy manager. <laughs> just want the snacks. I know you. <laughs> Don't hoard them. You're already taking I'm them out. Organizing. Putting them on our little, little, little table over there. Arlo, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's just like on the couch and he just like he's like stop arguing <laughs> <laughs> okay so let me read this okay uh we've put together a selection of snacks for you to endure and then they crossed it out and wrote enjoy that are commonly eaten by people in the uk most are found almost <laughs> exclusively here a couple are international but not common in the u.s or very expensive in your supermarkets We've noted below a little bit of information on each of the items and a question to go with them. An idea for you if you wanted to make a video of you both trying them. And here we are mm -hmm. from Carl and Becca Timmis. Not included, so there's one that's not included. A Kinder Surprise. Had to remove these apparently. They're not only banned from being sold in the US due to them being a choking hazard for children, they're also illegal to be shipped to the USA full stop. A shame because we feel Roy would have loved these. I probably would have <laughs> choked on it, so. <laughs> um, Dennis <laughs> is here. The best idea. Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. It was fun to visit you in Atlanta. I had a good time. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess we can try to, should I like go out of them? Okay. So they're, they're organized by savory snacks, sweet snacks, and drinks. Okay. And I love how in, in the UK, they, they add a little extra U in certain words like savory or flavor. I always thought that was, that was kind of fun. It's um, very random, but I always just thought that was neat. And yeah. color. I'm trying to figure out. Those kinds of, like, those, like, those words that make them just sound a little bit more, um, I don't know. Like, hmm, enjoy the flavor of my colorful, s savory snacks. Snacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's let's just go through it in the, in the order that they have in here. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Okay, so we have the savory, then we have the sweet, and then we have the drinks. It's like a bit of a palate cleanse. So the first one are, are my hair Burton's Fish and <laughs> Chips. Okay. 
Well, you need like elevator music. Please hold. I know. We uh could have organized this, but I kind of wouldn't be surprised. Like I literally did not look in here. We took out the bubble wrap just to take that that Ooh, um that thumbnail. Pickled onions. Mm. You like covered right. one up over here. Did I? Not this one? Is it the Burton's Fish and Chips? No, this is better. See, this is my my worst fear of just <laughs> not being organized. Oh, right here. It is these. Oh, it is this? Mm -hmm. Burton's Fish and Chips. Burton's Fish and Chips. Let's see if I can like sport and tap vinegar. On this. There we go. Okay. Is it? Are these both the same thing? Yes. Okay. So it looks like we did get some duplicates for both of us to, to try. So should we each open our own, or should we each share one? I think one? if it's a duplicate, we, we should, should just each open, open our own. I was going to say only one. That way it's... So why do you get to open it? Fine, big baby. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if we're, <laughs> I don't want to commit to all this just yet. So if everything's a duplicate, let's just do one. Okay. <laughs> So there's a question to go along which, with each one of these. I hope this is this is entertaining. It's going to be very entertaining for us. Question. It's common for us to eat fish and chips on a Friday. Wow. Why, why Friday? What's a common go-to meal for you both? Hmm. It just reminds me of, like, how um, you eat gumbo on Sunday. So. Me? Not you, but just, like, <laughs> I was like no, I don't. traditionally. <laughs> you eat gumbo on Sundays? It's just a thing. It's like people have like a certain day of the week food. I guess so. But I don't know. My Growing up, I had waffles on Thursday. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are there some waffles in here? Because today is Thursday. No, it's not. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! See, whenever we have the same schedule, <laughs> I just I don't even know because it's so hard to coordinate. Okay, so we're gonna go for it. Did you already take one out? I did. All right. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Oh, I like that. That's great. Mm. My brain is trying to like correlate it with snacks that we have here. It's like a, a chalky, salty sort of a they're like the, pretzel. Yeah, they're like the little um, toasted bread stuff that you get in like trail mix and stuff or like Chex Mix. Okay. But yeah, like, yeah, like, like Chex Mix. Okay. Mm. I like that. I thought it would be fishy, but I it is not. I would snack on this. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, we'll put all the open stuff over here. I'm okay. Gonna... I'm going to take out like the duplicates and maybe put them up here. Sorry, you're going to have to endure us eating. We'll, we'll be trying to a reasonable about it. Trying I to be as uh, dainty as possible. We'll be lip licking, finger licking, picking stuff out of our teeth. <laughs> Hopefully not. Should I like lean in really close while I eat? Yeah. And just take the biggest bite. Gotta just get that cross section just right up in the camera. Everybody's gonna know. <laughs> All right, next up is Monster Munch. Which a is these. Pickled onion mm. flavor corn snack. Corn based snack. This is the sort of size you'd expect to find a share size pack in the UK. It was that has been through it. So this is this is a share size? Mm -hmm. Wow, our like share size for Doritos would like literally take up the whole screen. America. Yes. Um, so there's a question with this one. There is a debate on what the shape of these snacks are. What are your opinions? Are they a claw or a monster? Well, fair. I say it's a claw. Let's see if I can try to. Whoop. Whoop. I'm trying to like have it focus on on this this little guy. There it is. Can you <laughs> see that? <clears throat> um. I think I it's guess a this is a claw, right? It has yeah. like the like the four like nails where you'd find a claw. And then <laughs> what? I don't know. No, we are not doing food ASMR. I promise. That's gross. Nope. <laughs> the crunchier it is, the more I'm gonna want to like eat it back here. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> It's the monster in me. Those are very pickly. Oh, this is cool. It literally says on the bag, claw or monster. Monster, of course. In sorry, I guess, I guess, I guess we were wrong. Introducing the most exciting and revolutionary invention 
since sliced bread. Monster Munch, Monster Shapes. You've probably never seen anything quite like it. Your mom's in here! No Hi, way. Mom. Really? <laughs> mom's here! <laughs> How in the world? Hi, Mom! <laughs> Look at you doing YouTube. Look at all the shoutouts you're getting. Everybody's like, Mama! <laughs> okay. These are these are my favorites so far. So this is like to me the perfect snack after you've had like a few drinks and you just like really need something super savory and snackish. Like this is what I would probably go to. Really? Okay. So I next love up, pickle flavor stuff. We have twiglets, which are eaten mostly at Christmas time, although they are available all year round. They're a contrasting snack. People either love or hate the taste of them. Ooh, okay. What's the flavor? I don't know. The question is, love it or hate it, what do you love most about Disney and Universal? Hmm. What do we love most about Disney and Universal? Hmm. I guess collectively as like, like what a theme park is for me, it's definitely that nostalgic place of comfort and timelessness and just the experiences that you have with the people that you go with the memories that you make just everything about that it's it's a it's literally like an, an, an oasis of an experience that i don't know it's just it's but it's like my safe place it's a place that i always know is going to be there mm -hmm. and there's always going to be something new to experience the holidays are just so much more different at disney and universal halloween christmas it's just it's always something to to look forward to the food festivals and I don't know. It's it's, it's just it's a good place to, to be and I know that a lot of people probably share that sentiment. It's it's a mm -hmm. it's a place of fun. I think the thing that I like the most about both parks is the same reason and that's you know you can go to the park and have fun as a kid or as an adult. Like you can go in there and just like let your hair down, like let loose, like just go on a roller coaster, just get that adrenaline, like you know, we're adults, we have adult responsibilities, but that doesn't mean that we can't still like have fun and enjoy fun things. And it just, it's that daily reminder where it's just like, you know what, we are full functioning adults in society, but we still know how to have fun. And then it caters to that adult that wants to have fun by offering nice food places or drink options or just like entertainment. And yes. I like it. I think that that's like a really good point. And just the de developmental aspect of the parks that there's always something to, to try that's new and enjoy. I didn't personally really enjoy Epcot when I was younger. And it, then once I turned 21, <laughs> I enjoyed it a little bit more, huh. you know? And, and and then since from then, it's not really been like a big place of just alcohol consumption. It's been like the culture celebration and then and then the innovation aspect of Epcot, which is not, not much of a thing anymore, you know, but we'll, we'll see what happens in the next few years. Yeah. I've seen somebody say it a couple times, but their name is Brennan too. Hi, I never meet other Brennans. I never meet Roy's. The only Brennans I ever meet, it's either their last name or it's a boy. So. Yeah. Oh. All right. Whenever I meet a Roy, it's generally like an old gentleman. <laughs> you don't meet like a young Roy. Old Roy. Like the dog food. Thank you. <laughs> uh, did you open these? I did. The... Please. Oh. So right here, did you show oh, them? These are like the a, twiglets. It's Is like it a, a pretzel? smoky flavor. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. So in in the in the best way, <laughs> these taste like like the the burnt parts of a pizza crust that get stuck to the pan after you take it out of the oven. Like if like if you take a pizza off and you then it like spray the pan or the pan the, the pizza got stuck to the pan and you had just like these like these like burnt yeah. Pieces that you just kind of like pried up with a spatula or something, and then you, for whatever reason, decided to eat it. See, I was going to say it tastes like the burnt parts of like pork or like chicken, like some sort of like meat product, but like where it's the tasty yeah, thing. I'm getting like a 100% like a wheat. Like a I can see where people would love this or hate this. I think I'm more on the fence that I like it. Really? Uh huh. I'm not going to not like anything. I like pretty much literally everything, which is. It's an addicting flavor. Something I'm happy about. I'd rather like everything than have a very particular Yeah, it's palette. just, the flavor is very much like burnt ends of something, but I want to keep reaching for it. I don't know, I like it. I know we're only taking like a like a, a couple of these and then setting it to the side. We are going to get into these hardcore oh, yeah. later. <laughs> it's about lunchtime for us. Neither of us had lunch. 
This is our lunch. <laughs> okay, next up are the pork scratchings. Traditional pub snack in the UK made from pork rinds. This is another love it or hate it snack. Scratchings? This is another love it or hate it snack. Scratchings, pork scratchings. Because there's these. These are the pork rinds. Right. Maybe that's what it is. I think it is, because this is Worcestershire. Yeah. And then everything else kind of looks like candy. Right. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's these Let us know if we're wrong. awfully posh pork cracklings. Oh, they said yes, it's them. Thank you. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, question, love it or hate it? What do you love mo what do you hate most about Disney and Universal? Hmm. Um yeah, I wanna say hate is a strong word. I there's certain things that I wish were more refined. Okay. Like food service at Universal. Like their quick service stuff. I just wish it was a little bit more efficient. Disney They've gotten better though. I think yeah. it was just like the having to do the, the distancing, mobile ordering, mm -hmm. touchless payment stuff. But that, that was just kind of complicated for them to, to try to, to balance. For Disney, I think I I wish that I could just experience the Magic Kingdom at like midnight again. Because like they close it so early just so they have all that space for paid events. Well, you should say that because tonight... You have like a chip in your eyebrow. Oh no, I was saving that for later. <laughs> Sorry. Tonight it's open until midnight. Pretty positive for a boobash. Paid event. Yeah. We are not going to go to Boobash. I know that some boobash. people were, were asking that a little bit earlier. I just, I don't. Saying boobash, though. I don't, I don't, I don't. It doesn't really sound that like. I don't know. I, I don't think it sounds like it's going to be really worth that, that price point for the entertainment offerings that it has. You know, and I'm not the kind of like vlogger that needs to do something just for the sake of doing it and uploading it and being the first one to upload it so I can get all the views and the likes and the comments and the subscribers. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure that there's going to be plenty of videos from people going to the events and having a blast, but I don't know. I think we'll get our Halloween fix Spread with Halloween Horror love. Nights, which we're going to be going to Halloween Horror Nights yeah. without a doubt this year. Very, very excited for that. And I wish Boobash the absolute best without a doubt. Like I don't want it to not I wish Boobash the absolute best. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, mimicking you, make fun of me? No, I just, it was a, it was a sentence. <laughs> I wish Boobash the best. I mean, Say that like five times. I really do. I'm not trying to be like that person that's just like. No, I wasn't. It's making... not worth the price. Therefore, I will not be supporting it financially with my. With I wasn't my money. making I fun of that. It elsewhere. I was just making fun of the actual sentence. I'm just like sincerely, like I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be like really worth it for what you're gonna be getting for it. But the people that are gonna do it are probably gonna have a blast. Um, okay, so we were we were gonna open this. Mm -hmm. What are these the, again? Pork these are the awfully posh pork cracklings. Oh my God. Hmm. Not a big pork rind person, but we'll see. <laughs> it tastes like sunflower seeds. Really? Yeah. The flavor to me is immediately sunflower seeds. Also, these are like the softest pork rinds I've ever eaten. <laughs> oh, I think they were vegan? No. Gluten-free. That's probably my... <laughs> pork be vegan. <laughs> I, I, I knew that was the wrong word. <laughs> Try my vegan pork rinds. Do they not taste like sunflower seeds to you? I don't think so. I mean, what do sunflower seeds taste like? Just salt? Sunflower seeds? <laughs> <laughs> never had sunflower seeds? Yeah. Back when I played t-ball and then tried to be a, a cool kid. Eating on the sunflower seeds. Keyword tried. <laughs> that was the best T-ball player. <laughs> the best. <laughs> so I think that one was a bit of a mess for me. Yeah, they weren't bad by any means. I was just like, I think I expected them, and maybe this is just because everything that we eat that's like this is just packed with salts and fats. <laughs> so I think when I feel I, right at home with that, then mm, so it was pretty awfully posh, though. I will give it that. <laughs> um, but we will. Obviously, finish it. None of this is going to be wasted, so no worries there. Now we have a word that I could never pronounce: Worcestershire sauce crisps. Yeah. Woo. Quite a unique taste, Worcestershire sauce 
also available in the U.S. as a condiment, is made from fermented fish. I'm Don't let that put you off, though. One of our favorite crisp or chips, in your case, flavors. Oh which I, they, they call fries chips, and, and, and chips are crisps. Yeah. Which hey, Brian Brennan. You guys are one of my top favorite channels to watch. I look forward to your new videos. Use this money towards something you really want to get. That is awfully generous. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. So I'm sorry that we're about to just now eat Worcestershire chips. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank I, you. I, I don't know what to say. It's like I, I, I realize that super chats are a bit of like a like a tip jar in a way, but I wish I was I wish I was earning it more. Does that make sense? Because okay. I really I don't know. I'm just a guy that uploads videos. So thank you so much if, if, if you think that that's Your mom's validated. In here. She's going to tell you, not just a guy. <laughs> you're my, you're my little son. man. <laughs> what a nice, handsome young man. And then she's going to follow it up. She does not life. talk like but that. I I'm sorry. I love Brennan, no. too. Brennan, so sweet. Love you. <laughs> um, okay. It's starting to sweat a little bit. Was that the pork rinds? Am I going to sleepwalk now? Question with this one. What is your favorite flavor when it comes to chips or crisps? And again, with the with the UK adding that U in there, favorite flavor. I <clears throat> like a good dill flavor. <laughs> what? <laughs> just like pickle chips. That's why I really like these pickle chips so much. Or you know, just like a classic sour cream and onion or cheddar. I'm a, I'm a cheddar boy. Yeah. I love me some cheddar. I'm a cheddar boy. Just some cheddar Doritos. <laughs> just give me a bag of those and just don't talk to me till tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. No, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to lock the door with my bag of Doritos and call it a day. Okay. So. I'm sounds? actually excited about these. I like, I like the flavor of Worcestershire. I wish that I could like. Because there are there are flavors of brands that are that are international that we don't have here. Yes. That I would I would just be all about getting to try like every single kind of Dorito. It's like ketchup and, chips are super popular. Yeah, and I, I don't know that would just be like really excited to do, which sounds like mm. a sad thing, but I would celebrate it. Oh yeah. Yep. Mhm. Mm Ooh, and there's like a like like a solid aftertaste. Ooh, I like that. Well, these are hit. Mm -hmm. I like this. Barbecue is also a good flavor. I love me some barbecue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes because they're just pretty inexpensive, I just grab every single flavor of like Pringles. Mm -hmm. They're like a dollar and a half at Publix. And, uh, and I just, just go to town on those. With the Olympics having just ended, do you more enjoy summer or winter games and which sport would you want to see in person i'm not a big olympics person i, I mean, appreciate it i enjoy watching them it just makes me feel so inadequate comparatively i think i'm always blown away by gymnastics same just you <clears throat> just not even being able to comprehend what they're doing or how exactly they're doing it and and just the, like the quadruple flips that they can just do in the air and just plant it is just crazy to me. I've always wanted to do a backflip, never done a backflip. I, I I've done me. like a little bit of a front flip on a trampoline once, you mm -hmm. know. But I know like ice skating is a, a seasonal one, but I would love to watch ice skating in person. Just because like when, whenever we see ice skating shows around here, like I just love them. I get so mm -hmm. into it. I think definitely like the sports that are more geared towards like skill, like figure skating or like gymnastics versus something that's more just like driven by brawn, like swimming or, or any, any of those kind of games. So I don't know. I, I, I kind of appreciate both of them. I think I'm a little bit more mesmerized by the winter games just because, you know, there's such a seasonal activity that are kind of cool to follow. And I just know that I can't do any of it. I can't do any sports at all. <laughs> nope. Um, all right. Michael Hawk sent some treats for the pets. Oh. Oh, yay. I'm going to get you some dentist sticks. He's, he's literally right down here, Arlo. He's and then Farley's over in the corner on his little bed. You can kind of see him. See that, like, orange, like, 
Oh yeah, blob. That's, that's it's, Farley. It's Farley. And then Calvin is probably like in a window somewhere. <clears throat> okay. So we tried that one. So it looks like that concluded the savory snacks. Okay. So that was our message right up here. And then we had the savory snacks. And we hit the one hour mark. Right there. We're doing pretty good. I feel like this makes up for last time where we only oh, yeah, for like like half an hour. Oh yeah, like 20 minute live stream. Because our friends Rory and Kelly came over and we tried to get in that, that live stream before they came, <laughs> but it was like storming outside. So we were like delayed doing our errands for the day. And oh, it was sad. But it was fun because they brought over some pie, which was good. Maybe there's some pie in here, but probably not. So sweet snacks. We have the Cadbury Dairy Milk Bars. This is your traditional English chocolate. <laughs> Nothing like Hershey's. Chocolate. Hope it doesn't melt in the heat. It did not. Ooh. I do love Cadbury chocolate. This, it's this one. Is it? Yeah. Whoa. Well, there's... No, this, this is the next one. Yeah, those are the fingers. This is just the milk chocolate. Okay. I already know what this is going to taste like. I'm already excited about it. And they gave it to us in hot chocolate. Oh, my God. It's a little bit soft. Well, don't open it. It's powder. Oh. Oh. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought... I thought it was like hot chocolate flavored, but it was the same. No, it's, it's literally hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to literally just rip it open. And just I should have just let him. Shower myself in hot chocolate powder. I have like sweaty fingers. I'm going to take this. Sure. I'm going to oh! <laughs> take the thing that I already broke off. Okay. The question with this one is if you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza. Hmm. I have to think about it. Mm. There's a lot of food I'd want for the rest of my life. Cadbury chocolate. <laughs> it's nice and thick. <laughs> Lose those chompers shut. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like one type of pizza, like pepperoni pizza? Or could it be pizza with like a bunch of different toppings, like a variety? We'll do a supreme pizza. That way I still get my vegetables, you know? Okay. <laughs> we I'll just cover, it? you know, they have like all the food groups are there. Like I'm covered. All the food groups. Sushi is a contender. I want to just say like cheeseburgers. I know that's so bland and sad, but I just. But I you can get them in a lot of variety. Also. With vegetables. Sometimes. <laughs> Next up is Cadbury Fingers, a biscuit based snack covered in the above mentioned chocolate. Ooh, I already Question. know these are going to be great. What is your go to sweet snack in the parks? That's a good question. I, hmm. I usually like baked goods as my go-to, but I don't necessarily care for baked goods at theme parks. They're, it's usually pretty dry. Um, I appreciate a good just like gummy candy. I don't know, but I don't get that that often. I like the varieties of Dole Whips, just depending on the oh, time of year. That's a better answer. I think. <laughs> just because there's, there's plenty. There's the regular Dole Whip. There's the, like the lemon lime Dole Whip. There's the, you know, Blood orange, Dole Whip, just put the varieties of sherbet. Sherbet or sherbet? I say sherbet. I never know. I'm, I'm, I'm always terrified to even just say that word because I never know. Okay. <laughs> Looks like these melted a little bit. Yeah. But they're still there. Uh oh. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. Let's take that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So exactly what you'd think. Mm -hmm. Just a chocolate covered vanilla wafer type sweet. Mm. I like these. I'm on board. You should have brought napkins. Yep. There's like a very modest amount too, which I appreciate. Like it's not like a massive like ordeal. You wanna get napkins? Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll hold down the fort. I'll scroll through some some questions here. My mom says Dole Whips. Mom, I know you love some Dole Whips. There are a lot of varieties of them though that we have not gotten to try. Let's see. 
best thing to eat in Volcano Bay? I don't know. I don't feel like I've gone to Volcano Bay and eaten there enough to like really know what the best thing to eat in Volcano Bay is because I try to get something different every time that I go. But they have some like very unique burgers, which I do enjoy and appreciate, and some flatbreads too. Let's see. Um, English chocolate slash chip flavors are much better, but U.S. soda is much better. Hmm. I can see that. I didn't know that. Well, it's because ours is probably just beyond sugary, <laughs> yeah. and it's like a novelty, I assume. But I do like the savory stuff from outside of the U.S. Like, it's just the flavors are more creative. Granted, because we don't have them here, but I like it. <clears throat> What would you say your favorite ride across the theme parks in Florida would be? Mine's probably Hagrid's still. I think it's right actually, now mine's Velocicoaster. It's just fun. Really? Yeah. Huh. I'll always so, stay true to Men in Black, though. Last year, one of our one of our quarantine videos was the um yeah. like a theme park, like like a like a like a like a tier mm -hmm. competition for like what was the best ride basically out of out of Disney and Universal. And I think that could be something that we could revisit. Yeah. Potentially. Arlo. Because at the time we had not ridden Rise of the Resistance or Velocicoaster or mm -hmm. she hadn't ridden Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. So there were like a lot of like big rides that had opened up that we did not ride. So we didn't include them in that like tiered verbal like competition. So to 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 redo that to like crown the ultimate ride of all time would have been fun. Let's see. I was like licking my feet and <laughs> <laughs> It's just driving. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you enjoy making Disney videos or Universal videos more? It depends. Like, I I I try hard to like to, to to go back and forth. Like, I never want to have like a like Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom kind of a video. Like, I I, I really want it for my own sake to have like a Magic Kingdom, Islands of Adventure, Animal Kingdom, Universal Studios Florida, Epcot, Sea World. You know, kind of a kind of a back and forth, just because it makes me like appreciate and have a good time. So I don't know. I I think it's easier to make Universal and Islands videos a little bit more. I don't know why, but I I think I enjoy making those more than than like going to like Animal Kingdom um, or Epcot. But Magic Kingdom is also like top tier, like <laughs> fun just to go to have a good time. Okay, so should we? Keep moving forward here. Next, we have the Java Cakes, a snack made with an orange center covered in chocolates. Ooh, I'm already excited. Dennis said something about this. I think he would just like try it. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Ooh. These are like the raspberry ones that I bought at the store. Sorry, try not to make it a noxious so looking sound. Mm. So it's just like a little wafer? Mm hmm. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I love that. Like little that, that is great. Mm. That is so like surprisingly moist for a cookie. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh yeah. These are good. Okay, yeah, so the, the orange. Mm-hmm. That threw me off, but wow, that works. Mm. I think they're and Coke. Yeah, I think the ones that I bought before were like pins or something, but they were like, like raspberry. Different, different brand, right? Yeah, but it's the same thing. Mm. I like that one a lot. Um, oh, the question with this one, another one heated debate over here, which I've actually seen in the chat. Is this a cake or a biscuit? Well, we call things different. Like they're called different things here versus in the UK. Right, but it's debated over there whether it's a cake or a biscuit. Oh. Well, I don't know, because what do you guys define I would call as... it. I would call it a cookie. I would call it either, like unless a biscuit is a cookie <clears throat> over there. Because like to me, a biscuit is like a hard, um, like, like, a, like, a, like a dog biscuit, where it's like, it's hard, basically. Yeah. But it's like, 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 a, like a hard bread. I just said the same thing three times. <laughs> hard bread. Yeah. <laughs> I would call it a cookie. If that's a biscuit, then I would call it a biscuit. It's like a soft, cakey cookie. It's one of those like. You can call it both. It's you one can. or the other. 
I guess I called it neither, so I guess we can do that. <laughs> okay. Next up is Terry's Chocolate Orange. Oh, I Back know. it up, Terry. I already know Put it in reverse, baby. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if it's the same brand, but we have these here. So much so that ever since I was... As long as I can remember, this has been my traditional stocking stuffer from my mom. So I get one of these every single year for as long as I can remember. You're starting to get them every single year now from my mom. So I already know that I like these. I already have a bunch of these. They're so good. Um, do we want to open it? Yes. Yeah. This is like the super involved. Let's do it. Okay. You can. I'll, I'll work on some, <laughs> some some comments here as you're you're working on that. that um, it's gonna be loud. Okay. I'm wondering if I should just. It's gonna explode or something. No, it's so. What you do is it's like a solid chocolate orange, but it's like carved so that when you like smash it on the table, it blossoms into like the orange slices of chocolate. Right. Is there a surface that you? You want to just use the little table over there. Oh, I don't trust it. We have like our little like TV trays set up along the side so we can like grab I'm stuff and move stuff around. <laughs> you ready? You just gonna go for it? Yeah, it's gonna be loud. Really? Get me all nervous. Three, two, one. Did that do it? I felt it. It sounded like a baseball or something. That's pretty much what it feels like. Um, some people are talking about the April Fool's joke, which. That was fun to do. I think the biggest joke is that, like, it continued. ended up being true. <laughs> yeah. So, this is what it looks like. It's like a tiny chocolate orange. That... I can't get that thing down. Just having a focus. I would yeah. just, I'm going to tap the touch screen there. But it is an orange, right? Don't hold it up again. I can, I can try to focus it on there. Oh, there oh. So, is it orangey? It's chocolate orange. It's orange flavored chocolate. Okay, but it's like actually solid chocolate. Yeah. Oh. I'm not scared. It's just <laughs> chocolate. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. So that's okay. I like that. Oh, <laughs> you're just eating the whole thing. I couldn't get it to break apart. What are you doing over there? She gives me the tiniest little sliver. And she's, <laughs> and she's oh, oh, sorry, Arlo. No, not for puppies. <laughs> Poor pup. I want to show him off in a second here so they can see how, like, haggard he looks. <laughs> you stink. Um, yeah, so those are good. I like it. Taste of nostalgia. What a review, right? That was good. I like it. <laughs> Tastes like chocolate. Um, let's see. I'm going to say hi to Scarlett and Gracie, I think. That's how you pronounce those hi. names. They start, they start school. Have a great day oh, in school. Yeah. I hope everyone who started school back up today had a great first day. I know. Um, Did it start today? Today was the first day of school for a lot of people in our county, okay. specifically. <clears throat> okay, so... The question with that one was, what snacks are popular at Christmas time in the U.S.? This one. <laughs> for you, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, eggnog for me. Eggnog. I love eggnog. Um, and just Christmas cookies. I don't know if they're like this all over the world, but people go like crazy with candy canes now. Mm -hmm. Like every company, every candy company flavor makes candy canes now. Um, I think just like Christmas cookies probably is going to be the big one there. Yeah. The hot drinks. Next up is the penguin. Penguin. Oh. Pick up a penguin. That's what it says. Chocolate biscuit. If you had it, mm. if you had packed lunches at school, you always had one of these in your lunchbox. But Look out for the joke on the packet. There's a joke. So it's like our version of the cosmic brownie. Why can't penguins fly? Because they are chocolate biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <me> snot. <laughs> Stop. You're over here like sniffing and clearing your throat. I'm trying to keep the bodily functions to a minimum, if possible. I'm a human being. <laughs> okay. 
I have bodily functions. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I didn't say there would be food ASMR, <laughs> but you can hear my sinuses. Um, so the question is, did you take a packed lunch to school or have school dinners? Both. I, it was a rite of passage in our family that once you get to high school, you were able to buy your lunch at school. Hmm. But before that, my mom made every single one of our lunches. And I have two other brothers, so it was quite an achievement. And at times we were, I think, just getting to high school and buying lunches was easier than having to time and regulate and make lunches for three boys yeah. in high school, middle school, and elementary school at one point. So kudos to my mom for doing that because I'm sure that was quite <laughs> a lot. Thanks, Kenneth. Kenneth <laughs> sent the biggest super chat of all. Look at that nice peach. Yep. <laughs> What's kind of funny is that with school lunches, my mom would generally like put the what I didn't eat back into the school lunch. Mm -hmm. And it was this just like this like this this petty thing that I would do where I like wouldn't eat like the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and she'd be like, perfectly good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm going to put it in there until you eat it. And I'd be like, I don't want to eat it. I want something else. But she's like, no, nope, you're eating that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I would have to I would have to eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I did that thing that people assume kids do, but then you think that maybe they don't actually do it because it's all on TV. But I did actually trade food with my friends. Mm. Where are you? 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 Where are this is, this is going to be on YouTube forever, just so you know. I know. There's a replay here. This is all going up. Well, there. you know what? So is your gingerbread house falling into shambles. That's on the internet forever. Show your hand again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that might have been the best penguin joke of all time. It was awesome. Okay. We're down to the last few here. So I hope this has been um, entertaining. This has been... Very self-indulgent for us, so I've had a great time. Next are called the Midget Gems. Used to be sold in your old English sweet shop where you would buy them by the ounce from large jars. That would be... These guys. Yeah. Oh. Okay, they either... They look like either like dots or like, like Welch's grape snacks that we have here. So we'll see if they have like... They're they're firm like dots. We'll see. It's like oh, dots. This is such an obnoxious sound. Dots are like Sorry. have like a bit of like a like a more chalky, firm, fruity taste, and then and then and then grape snacks are like <clears throat> different. <laughs> but could they also be like the like the pineapple chunks and like like trail mix or something? I'm just like already anticipating. Okay, these are like, like these are like dots. Pick this out of our teeth the whole rest of the video. Mm. Oh no. Mmm. Mmm. On my way to another root canal. I know. Which suck. Brush your teeth, everybody. Which I did. I just. <laughs> Way to backtrack. I well, do brush my teeth. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still wearing my retainer like 15 years after getting my braces off. So I'm good with dental hygiene. Mm. I just got unlucky. That was a tangent. Oh no. I just stuck all over my teeth. I see there's like flavors on here. Ooh, this one was like lime. I like it. Thank you, Kenneth. That one was a uh, potentially pineapple. Hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you, Kenneth. Good old Kenneth. <laughs> Question: If you could visit the UK, where would you go? But you can't choose London. Hmm. Why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, because I, I have been 
to the UK and I did go to London. I had this like quick like two week trip where I went to like London, Canterbury, um, Normandy, and then and then Paris and Rome. And that was a fun, fun trip. That was actually like the first time I ever vlogged, technically. Mm -hmm. I was back in 2008. It was like 13, 14 years ago. And I wanted to document my, my trip. Nice. Because my mom told me I should keep a journal so I could remember what I did and what I thought about it. And I was like, I don't want to bother with a journal. It's going to take forever to write it down. So I just took out my camera and then I turned it this way. And then And then I very awkwardly as a 14 year old was like, and then we went to the beach of Normandy and we um and we walked on the on I've the seen beach. these videos this is not what they were like it was some of them were never because I would do them at the very end of like a long what day. does any awkward 14 year old boy with braces act like that was thank you you're welcome <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment <laughs> or not somebody said they were making pizza fries I want to know if you should do it with or without pepperoni with, with. <laughs> I would say not do it with sausage do the whole thing I say no sausage. Ooh, but a, get some like peppers. A little bit too there. much with the sausage. Pizza fries are coming back, aren't they? That's <gasps> exciting. That's true, they are. All right. Um, we didn't really answer that, but because I think we Ooh. not makeuping. We both want to go to the go to London, honestly. Like London is like the and I like barely remember it would be like experiencing it like all over again if I went to like um you know, just, just to just go there and explore. And just kind of, I don't know. I'm sorry, I choose London. I hope that's okay. I, I really <laughs> want to go. And then I would kind of go off from there and just kind of go to some less touristy but also fun spots like where they filmed Harry Potter or something. Okay, next up we have the fruit pastilles. Pastilles? Pastilles. Another old sweet that has been available in the UK since 1881, still hugely popular today. The red and black flavors are the most popular, so much so that you can buy bags with just those two flavors on oh, no. your own. I think these are sucking candies. So it's gonna we're gonna have to commit. Oh. Okay, so I got the I got the red one. The red and black are the most popular. You wanna go find like a black or something? <laughs> is this black? I think so. Or is this No, that one's black. Right? I don't know. Ew. Oh, maybe they're oh they're they're soft. Never mind. Oh yeah, they're very soft. Mmm. Mmm. I don't do these. Bring those back over. Ow. <laughs> wow. Mmm. <laughs> I love that. Mmm. It's like familiar candy, but it's like a, a less sweet version. Of what we would buy, and I like it better that way. It's like dots, and it was slightly less firm, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't like that one a lot. They have like a trash bag. Mm. Um, stop. Oh, <laughs> they're just like <laughs> slowly giving me all of your trash. What candy, would be... <clears throat> what candy would typically be quintessentially American? Mm. Skittles? I guess so. M and M's. They're all like the big ones that I'm like. That's a big enough brand, and that would be international. Like Skittles, Reese's, Twix, M and M's. Right. What is it like quintessential in the fact that it's only in America, or that like America based representative of America? Probably like M and M's then I think, right? I, yeah, I'd say M and M's. We have entire stores dedicated to yeah. M and M's. Hershey's, also. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, <laughs> we're down to our last sweet, the Swizzle Barrett sweets. This is the last one. Yeah. Oh, this is a juice box. It's a different thing. I know, but I just got excited that it was oh. a juice box. This type of sweets you would uh, pick up from your local news agents, which can also be known as its nickname on the corner shop. By well, its nickname, the corner oh, shop. Swizzles, right? Even if it's not on a corner. These? 
Swizzle slash Barrett sweets. So th this is all that's left here. So these are these are Barrett sweets right here. Oh. So we have Dip Dap. We have Wham. We have Sherbet Fountain. We have. We already did that one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, I'm we did that one too. Okay. I'm gonna try these guys. Are these like Smarties? And then we have the Swizzles. Right like, here. are these like the American Smarties? I think so. Probably right. I know Smarties. So are these different. are the four varieties I think here because all these are duplicates. Mm. Smarties. Mm -mm. They call Smarties something different over there, though. I yeah. know that. The Smarties over there are like the chocolate, like they're like larger M and M. Yeah. Those like Pez. Mm -hmm. But exactly the size of Smarties. Hmm. They're pleasant. Okay. They have like a familiar taste, but I don't know what it is. I mean, just like Smarties, it's not like the, the most crazy, bizarre candy. Oh. Just, I think I'm that's for sure. Just, just... <clears throat> you want to try this? Yes. Looks like a tongue. It's like <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's like a, is this gonna be like a laffy taffy situation or like an airhead? Oh, they are parma violets. They're nice. Laffy taffy. Hmm. You want to make out that candy or you know? <laughs> How do you make out? <laughs> I run on. Not on love. It's like strawberry or like cherry? I think it's strawberry, but what are these things inside of it? I don't know. Sour crystals. No. Oh. Hmm. That's good. It's like less tough than a than a laffy taffy. I enjoy that. That's good. I struggle with laffy taffy laffy taffies. Okay. What is this thing? This thing made me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What is it? I don't know how to eat it. <laughs> Somebody tell me. Uh Sherbet with a licorice dipping stick. Oh. So you pull it out and you dip it. Yep. <laughs> oh no. We should have saved this, this one for last. Like, this operation. Oh. You're making a mess. I'm trying. You eat the stick, right? And it's licorice. So you, you dip it? Yes. And what's the flavor? Sherbet. With licorice. Hmm. This is the exciting part of the video, without a doubt. Lick the sherbet off of it. It's like you, you like you lick it, and it's like a what do they call those? It's like, like a the fun dip, dip stick. Yeah, they yeah, the dip stick. <laughs> that's that's me. Not a licorice fan. Squeeze the pack. It should break up the sherbet. Sherbet. Okay. Twist to open. Oh, crud. <laughs> Dang it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm on a hard time getting through this licorice. So okay. I guess you like squeeze it like this to kind of break up the sherbet because it's a little bit. A little bit. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like it, like it. Breaks it up. It has like mounds in there of sherbet. This this is this is what they probably wanted to see is just us being like, what are you what are you supposed to do? Here? What's, what's, what's going on? What is this? Or do I do I stick it in here? Do I lick it? Do I eat it? Oily, out of context. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's like a fun dip where you like you dip it, you lick it, you have a good time. Try the licorice. Have you had licorice? Ever? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's the first time I've ever had licorice. Really? It's like, <laughs> okay. It was a very foreign flavor to me. <laughs> yeah, that is licorice. Very bitter. 
but not bad. I don't think. Ooh. Wow. I don't know if that's my favorite. Hmm. I kind of like it. I don't think I like the liquors, but I like the dipping and licking. What? <laughs> right. Oh, you made a mess. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. And this is our last one. The dip dab. Trying to make sure we like know what we have left to do. Mm -hmm. This is our last. It's sweet. my last one. Well, and then we can try the um, juice box. There was a question with this one. Do you both have nicknames for each other? Mm, not really. I don't think so. I definitely don't have a nickname. My my name is Roy. It's one syllable, so it's very like just it is what it is. They're not like nicknames but it's just like you know how in the moment when you're trying to like reference your pet but you like call your pet something different every single time and sometimes it's just situational based that's pretty much what we do like if you like look over at me and i have something in my tooth you're just gonna be like hey what's up tooth and then <laughs> 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 that's it. makes me sound like a jerk <laughs> <clears throat> More stuff nicknames for like Arlo. Like Arlo is like puppy pants and puppy face and all those other yeah. sort of things. All right, so this is Dip Dab Sherba Dip with a tasty strawberry flavor lolly. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Are you going to say words? <laughs> I don't like it. I think you should open your own on this one. Oh. <laughs> After what I'm doing to this lollipop. <laughs> I like this one better than the, uh, than the, than the, than the licorice. I think so, for sure. And it's easier Ooh. to eat, too, I think. Mm. Whoa. Right? <laughs> this is like, good. It's so powdery. We're so used to like granulated sugar. I'm like not being descriptive at all with uh -oh. any of these. Hmm. I like mm. that one. I'm going to work on that one a little bit more later. Okay. But it is pretty much like a, like a, like a fun dip. Mm-hmm. I enjoy our fun dips because they usually come with like a multitude of flavors. So mm -hmm. you can kind of like go between the different flavors rather than just like one singular one. And they may have versions of like that where it's, where it's pretty much the same. Um, and finally we have the drinks. So this one, we'll probably do this one a little bit later because it's hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. This is instant hot chocolate, just requires hot water, though it tastes much nicer with hot milk instead. If you found out all theme parks were closing tomorrow, where would you go for the last day and where would you eat? That's funny because like that did literally happen. Like I, we knew that Magic Kingdom and, and all the theme parks were going to be closing. We went to Sea World. We did go to Sea World on the very <laughs> last day of theme parks. We went to Sea World and we went to the Seven Seas Food Festival. Mm. Oh yeah. No. We had regrets. like we had like a like a couple days notice that they were going to like close the parks, and back then it was like very taboo on on whether or not you should go before they closed. But then there wasn't a lot of certainty if. And when they would reopen, so there was that kind of like an urgency of, you know, getting in that last trip, knowledgeably that it was going to be your last trip. So yeah, that was the time. Um, but what I did like doing was going to Magic Kingdom that day because I went to Magic Kingdom in, in the morning by myself, and I just kind of did like a quick little like one take walk around the park, and just to see what it was like. That was just what I wanted to do. I just wanted to pay attention to how everything was because it has not been the same since. And that was about a year and a half ago now, right? I just wanted to see everybody walking around, doing their day as normal. Um, you know, seeing the, 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 the parade was still going on, the character meet and greets, the character dining, the fireworks, the stage show, I'm pretty positive. Like everything was normal. So just getting to see that and just see people enjoying their, their time. Like that was really cool in, in, in retrospect. Yeah. And you already opened this up. This is the <clears throat> Ribena, Ribena. Yeah, the black currant flavor. Apparently, this is not available in the U.S. due to a previous ban on black currant harvesting. 
Not sure if this is still the case or not, though. Question, what is your favorite non-alcoholic drink? Favorite non-alcoholic drink? I'd say the thing that I crave more is just like Coke, just straight Coke. Is this good? Yes. I like root beer. I think root beer is uh, like my long standing favorite. That's delightful. But then I like, I go through all sodas and have my phases. Mm. Like that. Ribena is how it's pronounced. Ribena. It looks like. Cool. Cool. <laughs> we hate all the food. I need something savory after all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. We did it. We ate food from the UK. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to have to finish it. I think my favorite candy was... Hmm. Was it this? No. No, it was... Uh... These guys. Those are really good. I enjoyed those a lot. These are the fruit pastilles. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I think my favorite. That's, I think it's just pastilles. Yeah. And then my favorite savory was, I think, yeah, the, the monster munch. Yeah. I think. Either the monster munch or the Worcestershire. Yeah, these are also good. Both of these. So we did it. Nice. Was that entertaining? Was that worth an hour and a half of time watching us just kind of work through? I promise this does not mean we're food. those people that eat on the internet now. I just thought it was a fun idea. Yeah, because we got this in the mail like a, like a couple days ago, and I, I didn't I didn't know what to do with it because it was it was a lot of stuff and and like just just having them the the like go through the effort of sending this all the way from across the world, you know, like it. it needed some sort of a some sort of a video mm -hmm. element response i think very warranted and that's that was it on our little cheat sheet here our pieces of paper that we were sent to correlates with all of these so again that was from carl and mm -hmm. becca timis and i think carl yeah he's been talking along with us in the chat mm -hmm. so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing that like we i loved this concept like this was really fun this was something that's super exciting to me about, I don't know, just engaging with people right. from all over the world is like cultural integration. I don't know. I liked snacks from, <laughs> <laughs> I liked snacks, I <laughs> from, liked snacks from all over the world. I didn't know how to form what I was trying to say. No, I never do. <laughs> so we can hang out for a little bit longer, maybe a few more minutes. Just a couple more minutes. Yeah. I think we're gonna do something fun a little bit later on tonight, so yeah, we gotta go get ready for that. Up. And this is the part where we just kind of stare aimlessly at the chats. If I, <laughs> if we did miss any anybody's questions or comments or anything throughout the the live stream, I, yeah. I apologize. It's kind of hard to to get through everybody. If I if I didn't see it, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not trying to ignore anybody without a doubt. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm just like scrolling. I'm glad that we got to utilize this room a little bit. I'm glad that the animals behave themselves for the most part. Should I go get Arlo? Sure. Come and say man. hello. Oh! <laughs> nice. Hi, man. Hey, Arlo. He's right there. Hey, <laughs> I really like food. Hi, puppy. Here he is. <laughs> hey, Arlo. Look at this pup. Make sure his paw doesn't get in that like, I know. pile of sugar. <laughs> Why do you look napping. like you just woke up from a nap? He did. I just oh. Nap. <laughs> Here you go, Arlo. Boop. He was literally right before we started this, just sprinting back and forth. Hey, buddy. Okay. So any last couple questions or any, any thoughts? About anything, I think we. He does need a haircut, yes, yeah. but unfortunately, Shih Tzus are so hard to like keep up with, like because their hair is so thick, like it's hard to even bathe him. Right. We uh we already talked about the boobash that we're probably not going to be going 
to that, unfortunately. We will be going to Halloween Horror Nights. I don't really know exactly what. <laughs> some people were asking about Horror, Night, Horror Nights about, like, um, I think some sort of, like, a like a, a scare actor dining situation or just what we think about the houses. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm waiting for just everything to be formally announced just to kind of know what the event is going to be offering, how many houses, what houses, what scare zones. Mm-hmm. And they just kind of go from really there. slow about announcing. Right. If my Eevee could evolve, what would I want to evolve my Eevee to? Vaporeon. Really? Mm-hmm. I always liked Umbreon. They have a lot of evolutions now, though. Vaporeon is Which is exciting vibe. because the next Pokemon set coming out is called Evolving Skies, which is going to have a lot of evolutions I to know, it. I know, I'm so excited about Eevee. And then the one after that is um, <laughs> Celebrations, which is the 25th anniversary set, which is going to be very popular. Hard enough to find cards these days. Darn scalpers. Right? Should I should I end this with a with a bit of a giveaway? Sure. Where are you gonna okay. give away? It's gonna be right over here in my in my little giveaway area. It's not what it's called, but this is where I'm <laughs> I was like, you have a giveaway area? Let me see. Your mom says that she's happy that everyone is very nice in the comments. And I'm very happy that everyone is nice in the comments too, especially to your mom. All right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm back. Hello. So the giveaway that I want to do is I picked up a few of these at five below the other day and the other day a couple weeks ago and i wanted to give away a couple of these because i got like a couple that were like a, a duplicate and what they are are classic controller consoles so here we have the like the classic nintendo one i don't know if you can see that it's not gonna focus let's see so i have four of these and what i'd like to do is i'd like to give away two of them I have the GameCube one. Roy like worked really hard to find me the GameCube one because that one is like my nostalgic GameCube or a game console controller. Love the GameCube. Oh, they come in all of these. Okay. These are all the ones that they come in. Look at all that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I gave one to Dennis. I gave one to you. And I'm going to give, I think I'll give away two if that works. So how I want to <laughs> do this. And I know this is going to be like the, the quintessential like YouTuber, like, leave a comment down below sort of a thing, but I don't really know how else to do it other than what I want you to do is, so I have four of these controllers right here. Let's see if you can focus on these. Maybe not. There we go. So you can see these controllers right here. Maybe. What I'd like you to do is if you could comment whichever one of these is like oh. your favorite controller. I like these because, like, the buttons actually push as well. Right. So, like, yeah, they're keychains, but you can actually, like, push the buttons as well. Mm -hmm. So we have two of the, uh, <clears throat> like, Game Boys, a red one and a regular one. And then we have the uh, Super Nintendo, the NES, I think. And then this one's the PlayStation? Or did I get that backwards? I don't know. I kind of forget. Are they... I, I didn't ever really play. No, this one's the... Isn't this one the PlayStation? Are they commenting on the live stream or like in the actual video itself? In the video itself. So after this publishes, after after this is done, it's going to be a, like a regular video. So after this is done publishing, the live stream is over. Go down into the comments and then just write which one of these you like the most and why. And that's the important part. That's what I want to know. And that's why I wanted to do it like this. Like, why are these special to you? Like, did you play one of these when you were younger? Like, does it have a lot of nostalgic factor to it? Did you play it, like, with your brothers who are now moved across the country and they have their own family? You know, did you did you bust this out of your garage recently and it brought back a bunch of memories? Like, you know, That's what about. we did over quarantine. We just bust out all of our old, con like, consoles and started playing them. Right. <laughs> Mario Kart! So, like, yeah, I know a lot of people are, are, are letting me know right now, but but please, like, wait till we're about to end the, end the live stream. And as soon as it's over, in the comments down below, and I think I'll oh, give it like the comments down below. Guys. I know I'm sorry. Comments Ew. down below. <laughs> um, yes. So so yeah, these are the four options once again. I think PlayStation, the uh, 
Mm -hmm. SNES, and then the, the Game Boy. Cool. Uh, yeah, and I'll give away two of those. I'll choose a couple people. And then if you do comment, if you do actually want to win one of these, make sure you have some sort of like a way that you can like let me know your, your Instagram or your, or your Twitter or something like that, somewhere that you can um, safely um, disclose your, your contact. I don't think I'm gonna give it a smooch. <laughs> okay, so our, it says our connection's getting a little bit unstable. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to end the video here. Thank you so much to everybody that sent anything in the mail. I, I'm overwhelmed by that. We're a little out of focus here. There we go. Um, Anybody that continues to send anything, if you send any, any sort of a postcard, any sort of a letter, mm -hmm. like now that we've opened this, this is going to go in our, in our binder of, of memories as well. Yeah, and if you weren't here in the beginning, like we like having all of these as like a keepsake, like postcards and just like letters, um, things that your children send us is just like, this is the stuff that makes me smile. Okay, so I got corrected. These these are the SNES and the, and, 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 and I'm sorry. So yeah, the SNES, S, SNES, and the NES. I think so. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System and the Nintendo Entertainment System, and then the Game Boy Color. So yeah, those are those are the options. Ooh, I totally stuttered through that there at the end, right? Cool. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of these snacks. We're mm -hmm. gonna find a place for all the fun stuff that we've gotten in the mail, and. I we're gonna give these away. We're gonna clean up this pile of sugar right here. Or... I was trying to hide it. No. <laughs> it looks like you're <laughs> just, doing drugs. No, I did. My little pile of sugar over here. Nobody wants to see it. Um. Yeah. So how long should I give for this? Like 24 hours, and then I'll contact somebody after that. Yeah, 24 hours no on the posted live stream video. Okay. Yeah. So I'll give we'll it till. How about this? Until until 5 p.m. Um, Tomorrow. Eastern Standard Time, which is 5 p.m us here which is about 24 hours a little bit more than 24 hours that'll be like the window of time to 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 toss in for for a little giveaway and i'll just drop this in the mail and i'll i'll send it off to you we'll have arlo lick all of them what's with you and licking we're not gonna so lick any of these no like one's gonna lick these from a puppy no licking <laughs> i'm not gonna do that especially these days um yeah, so we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody that sent anything in the mail. Thank you so much to Carl and Becca for, for just all of this mm -hmm. and, and everybody else, again, that, that sent some stuff that we're going to be finding a fun place for in the future. So we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Going to go in the live stream, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you soon, right? All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Whoops. <laughs> wait, wait. Bye. <laughs>